Hi and welcome to Select 10. In this video, I have listed top 10 best shows like The Witcher. This shows have similar theme and concept like Witcher. And if you like the suggestions do subscribe my channel for awesome lists of movies and web series. Now let's get into the video. On number 10. We have the Shannara Chronicles. The story begins thousands of years after humankind's collapse, an elven princess, Ambril, a human, Eretria, and a half-elf, Will, embark on a journey to prevent a demonic army from destroying the universe. They take help from the last druid, Alan, And this three people have to undertake a quest to help save the Elkries, an ancient tree. Which prevents a demon world from entering onto the human lands. The demons won't stand a chance. Better die. We have on number 9. We have the new legends of Monkey. Entering the mythical world of the Monkey King, where a young monk and his group of disciples are on a journey to collect scrolls of Buddhist wisdom. In conclusion, the series story follows a teenage girl and a trio of fallen gods on a perilous journey as they attempt to bring an end to a demonic reign of chaos and restore balance to their world. On number 8. We have the letter for the king. The Letter for the King is the story of a young knight, named Tiuri, who lives as a noble, with his mother and stepfather in the kingdom of Dagonod. Later Tiuri find himself in a risky mission. When a dying knight asks him to deliver a secret letter to the king of neighboring kingdom, who lives across the great mountains. But destiny has other plans for Tiuri. As he is more or less forced to accept the task and setting out on a quest that will bring him allies, enemies, and the chance to be a hero. On number 7. We have Cursed. Cursed explores the Arthurian legend of the Lady of the Lake. With a twist. Traditionally, Merlin uses magic to seal a sword in stone. And Arthur proves his worth by pulling it out. The sword is eventually damaged in a battle with Lancelot, but the Lady of the Lake restores the sword to its former glory, paving the way for Arthur to become king. Cursed is described as a reimagining of the Arthurian legend, told through the eyes of Nimue, a young girl with a mysterious gift, who is destined to become the powerful Lady of the Lake. You are a warrior. On number 6. We have Shadow and Bone. The story follow, the Shadow Fold, a strip of impenetrable darkness, crawling with monsters that feast on human flesh, which is slowly destroying the once great nation of Ravka. And there are people called Grisha, who can practice the small science. And they are trained for the Second Army, and divided into three orders. Second Army is led by General Kirigan, who has spent his life searching for a Grisha who can summon light. The only person who could destroy the Shadow Fold. And Alina Starkov, a map maker. Turns out to be such a Grisha, and word spreads that a Sun Summoner has been found. And there are people who wants her dead before she realizes her power. On number 5. We have The Last Kingdom. The Last Kingdom follows Uttred, an orphan boy who witnesses his father be killed. When the Danes slaughtered the Saxon army and marched across England, the warlord Earl Ragnar raised him as his own and taught him the ways of the Danish warrior. Later when Utrid's adopted family is killed, including Ragnar, he vows revenge and makes preparations to reclaim his homeland. Together with his accomplice Breda, a sharp-tongued warrior, he makes a plan to recapture his ancestral lands, but his allegiance will be tested by the inhabitants of his birth country and the people who raised him. On number 4. We have Merlin. The familiar legend of King Arthur and the Kingdom of Camelot is retold in Merlin, a BBC series that focused on Arthur and his someday advisor Merlin when they were young men. Trying to determine their destinies, Prince Arthur is aware of his responsibilities to the throne and Merlin is discovering his magical abilities. Merlin features plenty of magic and mythical creatures. Over the five seasons, the boys grow into men and their loyalties are tested, especially as when King Uther enacts his great purge, banning the use of magic. On number 3. We have Spartacus. Like the Witcher, Spartacus didn't shy away from blood, nudity, or excessive violence. In this series, the story has shown how Spartacus, a slave of the Roman Empire, learned to be the greatest gladiator of all time. The show didn't tell just Spartacus's story, but the odyssey of all of his fellow gladiators, as they trained to bring honor to their house and master through trial by combat. When combined with the stunning action sequences and elevated scenes, this series comes into a must-see category. <laughs> On number 2. We have Vikings. Vikings is an epic historical saga. 
following the cunning warrior, Ragnar Lothbrok, a former farmer who defied his chief and made conquest of the Western world. Together with his shipbuilder Floki, his brother, his sons, and his wife Lajurtha, they pillaged the plunder of what would become England and France. Sprinkled throughout the epic battles and dramatic character development. And the mysticism of Norse mythology. Vikings not only teaches you a lot of history, it also makes the Viking culture feel alive and well today. We fight. On number 1. We have Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a fantasy series which chronicles the fighting between kingdoms in the fictional world of Westeros, in which everyone wants to take the Iron Throne and rule over all seven kingdoms. There's also an impending invasion by ice zombies. Also known as White Walkers, but some take that threat more seriously than others. And yes, Game of Thrones ended kind of poorly, but this series is a monumental piece of television filmmaking. Which we've never seen before. Do you think it's honor that's keeping the peace? It's fear! That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like this video.